Hello and welcome to my review of Dimbedit. Dimbedit allows you to include information from other nodes into your current node, but executing any queries you have in the context of the current node. So it's a different, a little bit different to the normal embedded version of Obsidian. Um, also, it allows you to use relatively relative dates to display content, and we'll take a closer look at it. This plugin is being developed by myself. This is my first Obsidian review. I did quite some reviews for other products before. Um, I'm a little bit rusty though, and uh, I assume that you know Obsidian already. I also assume that you know how to install. Uh, plugins. So let's take a look at the embedded. The normal embedded is on the left hand side of the screen and it's normally done by the exclamation mark and then you put in the notes and you see you get in links. Uh, it's a data view, uh, in link query, and it shows embedded and data view scripts. Um, because it's the in links to this note, right? If you do it in the embedded, you see the difference. Now we show the endings into the embedded document. So using the embedded allows you to create a structure of nodes or even not just nodes like this one, but also nodes with headers and then pull the content of that header into your other nodes. Same works with buttons. Uh, you can show the button of the day, just the today, um, or you can open up a workspace, the comparison workspace, and the same works on the other side too. Um, difference here is also what you see is that it's missing the node name. By embedded, always uses the node name, the default one, and the embedded omits this, so it gives it more. Uh, capabilities to format you to, to your light king. The same goes when you just embedded a specific part of the node, a section, by notifying the header. Uh, it will only show you the content of that section. The syntax is quite easy, except of an exclamation mark. You use a, a code block with the three bad ticks, then embed it, and then in brackets, you just specify the uh, file like you would normally do, and that also works quite well with um, the way you would normally do it in uh, Obsidian. Right. So that's one feature. Um, you see that also one of the other features is the relatively date. So yesterday I created this example and I put in the date from today, which is of course referenced with the date 2022-1029. And it shows me the contents of now yesterday. In the embedded, it still shows us the contents of today, 22-1030. As you can see here, all right. So that's another feature of an embedded, being able to dynamically embed um, information from other nodes based on dates. And to accomplish that, you need to specify the date node, um, the date format of the node in curly brackets. And then you use the moment uh, JS formatting, which is also used by a template, for example, and described in the description and on the repository and you can specify the, the uh, node. In curly brackets is the node name and behind it you can just use again uh, anything you like. Problem is it doesn't autocomplete for you but you can still use it. There is one drawback with the embedded and this is tasks. You can click on them, but they don't register. If you do it in the typical embedded, 
you can click on them and they're using the task plugin so it gets the date and everything and it will if you take the right node not the 30th this should be the 20th if you take this node it shows you the correct uh, um, it's checked but there's a workaround for that and um, for the problem with the with the, the, the checkboxes you can use data view so I prepared the data view Oops. Um, node and if I can type correctly uh, we have this scripts in there and it will show you all of the in this case all of the tasks open in the um, in the in the journaling and then you can select it and then it works it takes up that come on but it works so I'm pulling from here my tasks and I put it into and it shows all the tasks from from daily or I do show me all the inlinks to that node and it will use it in in this context um, and using a data root task query allows you also to check mark everything you have and embed it so those are the, the, the more trivial easy functions so one time is using dynamic embeddeds uh, to execute queries like data view in your node with the information from that node by default and the other one is to use relatively uh, the naming so being able to use today as a way to um, pull up data but let's get a little more sophisticated and then do something really else. let's say we have a, a node which is for day planning and it's the wrong folder but it doesn't really matter we call it dp day planner for today and to make it a bit different we uh things we need to do and then uh, we change it a little bit so we now have two different daily nodes and uh, we have the one daily node right and then we can remove that one but let's take a look at we say we would like to have embedded the, the day planner node um it it is a different format right it is not just the uh, the date but you specify the same way so you specify the oh, gosh <laughs> you specify the node name in the curly brackets to specify any static text you need to do uh, square brackets again that's dp dash and then close it again and then i specify the date format again this is default moment syntax like templater and then it will call up the the things you have from this day planner view and then also you can go again and just specify um, a header with it again also works so it gives you the information from a different uh, node with a different naming standard also that is possible now comes the really nice part about the embedded um, one of the reasons I created the plugin really is that I want to go back and forth in time and this is also possible so by specifying again my format of the the nodes I can then use the pipe and say I want to go back one day so minus one that's one of the options and this will go one day back so it will always be yesterday it doesn't matter when you take a look at tomorrow and the same note it is still yesterday um, the other option would be to specify it with uh, 
a P and then one one D, that's the same, minus one day. But you can also say minus seven days, right? So what did I do last week on that day? And you can also specify it with uh, minus one week, so my, minus one month, an M, or minus one year, a Y. You can also go into the future if you have already some notes prepared for the week and show you all of those. So it's all of relatively to the day. It allows you to go back and forth. You can use your own naming standard. And this is the real power of, of the embedded. And you can pull up sections of the notes and so on. Just keep in mind that checkboxes by default don't work. And of course, if you rename a node, um, because this is text, it will break. So you need to uh, take a look at it again. There's one thing. Um, let's say uh, error messages are red. So if I remove that one, it shows you up. But you can also uh, style to embed it like you want. And I wanted to quickly show that to you. So I prepared a little style sheet. It's really just the error messages. By default, they are red, but could you could overwrite them. And I would like have everything blue. You can also do other things like uh, making a border around it. It's style sheets, but I am not a, I, this is what I can do with style sheets at the moment. So, um, and you need to put this into the .obsidian folder into snippets, which is normally not there. And when you paste shots or snip it into there, you can go into settings, appearance, and then you can enable it. And as you will see directly, the text becomes blue and it will allows you to style your components like you want. And if it's too hard to read on the black, you can just disable it again. Um, and the only problem is I see just, I need to figure it out. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. It should be red. Okay, something to do. Yes, so that's the embedded. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the plugin. Um, it should become available soon. Uh, in the repo, there's a documentation how to use it directly. Um, leave a comment how you liked the video. Leave a comment on how you like the plugin, if you have any comments about it, improvements like making the error message work correctly, um, are always welcome. I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next time. Bye.